Come on, you got this. No pressure or anything. And submit. We've got a lot of good ideas, but we only have five days until we have to publish something to compete with the Michigan Dare. You know, I think Maya's video was really good last year. We could always just do the same thing. We could. It's a good idea. But, hear me out, let's do something a little bit different. Drones. Don't know if anyone in here has a drone. We could buy one. We do need some money for one. How about we get back on track? Maybe we can just start by saying he was good on camera. Markowski, we need you. Hey guys, what's up? Good. This chair is terrible. Can you, like, stop spinning? You were... What's up? What does the lantern mean to you? Could you repeat the question, please? Oh. It's changed me as an editor, as a writer, and I've been a better person because of all the time I've spent with everyone involved with the lantern. It's awesome. I tell you, every day coming in, it's like a ray of sunshine. Hmm. I don't know, it's pretty cool. The Lantern has prepared me for the future in that it's given me so many different aspects of journalism to practice with. One last question. Yeah. Prince, five short days away. How are you feeling? <laughs> five days? Yeah, five. I gotta go. That's all we got. Maybe we need a new perspective on the rivalry. We should talk to people outside the Lantern. You think we should talk to people not on staff? Great idea. Here's what I'm thinking. You two, go to the old. Gabe and I, we're gonna stay here and brainstorm. Why us? I think you guys will be able to figure out what the real Ohio State students think about the rivalry. All right, let's go. Excuse me, sir. What's your thoughts about the big OSU Michigan game coming up? Um, pay phone by Merlin Five. Excuse me, ma'am. What has the big OSU Michigan game meant to you growing up? <laughs> Um, actually, I'm from Rhode Island and I'm a transfer student, so I don't know too much, but uh, go Bucks, sorry. Do you follow the Lantern's coverage of OSU sports? Uh, what's the Lantern? I, I don't even go here. I'm sorry. Okay, Gabriel, situation is, you have one letter left. Take your guess. I think it's out. Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel. It's X. What are you guys doing? The brainstorm. Mm -hmm. Looks like it. <sighs> How was the old? Underwhelming. I mean, it was fine, but I still think we're missing something. The sports desk probably knows best how the lantern ties into the rivalry. Worth a shot. You know, at the end of the day, you look at Ohio State's offense and you look at Michigan's offense and I... Guys, we need help with the rivalry video. Wait, wait, but we're recording. We need help talking about how the lantern's impacted the rivalry over the years. How much time do you have? The game is more than a game. It's memories, it's tradition, it's competition between two programs battling year after year and season after season for rivalry supremacy. In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic took away the game for the first time in history in well over 100 years. And student newspapers like The Lantern all over the country chronicled the stories that kept the rivalry going. In 2021, the rivalry renewed and changed the direction of the game after Michigan defeats Ohio State for the first time in 10 years. Regardless of if Ohio State or Michigan prevail, the Lantern will be there to provide you stories and coverage you need to keep up to date on the game. What do you guys think? Yeah! yeah!